Russian planes continue to fall, the Ukrainian Defense Ministry crowed, recently. The claim tally includes four twin-seat Sukhoi Su-34 fighter bombers and two single-seat Sukhoi Su-35s. The Ukrainians bagged the first three Sukhois on last Saturday as the jets were flying 60 miles east of Avdiivka in eastern Ukraine, apparently lining up for a glide bombing raid on the Ukrainian troops retreating from that ruined city. Ukrainian military claimed it shot down a fourth Sukhoi on last Sunday and two more on Monday, the latter over the Sea of Azov in the south, Lt. Gen. Nikola Olshchuk, Ukraine's Air Force commander, explained that regardless of the blatant claims of Russian propaganda that the pilot of the Su-35S is alive and the other warplanes have come home, radio intercepts of Russian communications reveal that one pilot has been found and the others are being searched for. Olshchuk cited data from an international satellite search and rescue system, which indicates at least four ejection cases. The commander teased the Russians with a hint on where to look for invisible colleagues. There is an international satellite search and rescue system called Kaspa Sarset. In the event of an accident, it notifies the pilots of the location of their personal radio beacons. As you can see, the system is working. In this photo, for Kaspa Sarsets, namely dots on the map have been triggered, so look for your brothers in these areas. No need to thank me, he said. It's possible, likely even, that Ukraine's Patriot Pack 2 missile batteries, three of which Ukraine has received from the United States and Germany, were responsible for all six shootdowns, according to Forbes. So, the Ukrainian Air Force is desperately short of its best munitions, including its 90-mile range, US-made Patriot air defense missiles. Air Force rarely wastes a missile. So when it does fire off one of its dwindling number of Patriots, it seldom misses. Which is why, even as the Ukrainians scream, beg and politic for more munitions, they've shot down as many as six Russian fighter bombers in just the last three days. A rate of loss the Russian Air Force cannot sustain.